Okay. In, in our last sessions, we talked about our body. And we said that our body consists of six systems. And we said that each system of them consists of many organs. And each organ is made of tissues. And each tissue is made of many cells. Again, we said that our body consists of six systems. And we talked about two systems of them, the digestive system and the respiratory system. Okay, so our body consists of many systems and each system consists of many organs and each organ is made of tissues and each tissue is made of cells. So if we have this photo here for our body, we will find that our body is made of many systems. And when we take one system of them, for example here, the digestive system, the digestive system, we will find that this system consists of many organs, as we said, like mouth, pharynx, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, rectum, and anus. So these are the organs of digestive system. If we take only one organ of them, like the stomach here, we will find that this organ consists of tissues, tissues, and each tissue is made of a lot of cells, many cells. So the largest part in our body is the system, and the smallest part in our body is the cell. So when we put many cells together, or a group of cells together, they will make a tissue. And when we put many tissues together or a group of tissues together, they will make an organ. And when we put a group of organs together, they will make a system. And when we put the six systems together, they will make our body. So again, the smallest part in our body is the cell. So what is the meaning of the cell? The cell is the building unit, the building unit. It means it is the unit that build our body, build our body. When we put Cell beside cell beside cell. Okay, Yahya, I will answer your question when I finish, please. If we put cell beside cell beside cell, that will build our body. So the cell is the building unit. It is not the building unit of our body only. No, it is the building unit of all living organisms' body. Not only us but for all living organisms. What is the meaning of living organisms? Living organisms means living things. And we know that we have three types of living things. Living things like humans. Humans are living things. Living things like animals. Animals are living things. And plants are living things. So the cell is the building unit of all these living things. So the cell is the building unit of humans, the cell is the building unit of animals, and the cell is the building unit of plants too. So it is the building unit of all living organisms, but is humans, animals, and plants. Okay. To know the structure of cell, the structure of cell, it consists of many things. Inside the cell, we have many cell things or many components. But there are three things 
must exist in any type of cell. Again, there are three things, three things must exist in any type of cell. Any type of cell must contain these three things. The first one is called nucleus, nucleus. The second one is called cytoplasm, cytoplasm. The third one is called plasma membrane, plasma membrane. Again, there are three things must exist in any type of cell. These three things are nucleus, nucleus, cytoplasm, cytoplasm, and plasma membrane, plasma membrane. And this is a photo to show us these three things. Here in this cell, this is the nucleus, the nucleus. It is the circle, can you see it? The circle here is called nucleus. And then this liquid, this blue part is a liquid. This liquid is called cytoplasm, cytoplasm. And this outer cover, this cover from the outside of the cell, this outer cover is called cell membrane or plasma membrane. It's better to say it plasma membrane. Plasma membrane or cell membrane. So again, these three things must exist in any cell. This circle is called nucleus, and this liquid is called cytoplasm, and the outer cover here is called plasma membrane. Plasma membrane. Okay. Each one of those nucleus, cytoplasm, and plasma membrane, each one of those has two functions or two jobs. Guys, we have 10 minutes and the meeting will end. So when it ends, you have to log in again, okay? So each one of those has two functions or two jobs. So the nucleus has two jobs. The cytoplasm has two jobs and plasma membrane has two jobs. Okay, first we will start with nucleus. What is the job or what is the function of nucleus? It has two functions or two jobs. First, it organizes, it organizes all the operations that happen in the cell. Operations, do you remember what is the meaning of operations? Operation, it has the same meaning of process, process. So you can say process or operation. Any process or operation happens in the cell is organized by the nucleus. The nucleus, something like the, the boss, the boss of the cell. So it organizes any operation or any process happens in the cell. Number two, it's responsible of cell division. Again, it's responsible of cell division. What is the meaning of division? Division means divided. When I say, when I say the cell is divided into two parts, it means that cell division happened. Again, Cell division, cell division means when the cell is divided into two parts. The cell is divided into two parts to increase the number. They want to increase their numbers, so they start to divide into two parts, like this photo here. I have here one cell, one cell. This cell consists of nucleus, nucleus, and this liquid, which is called cytoplasm, cytoplasm, 
and this outer cover, which is called plasma membrane. Plasma membrane. This is one cell, and this cell wants to increase the number, so it will divide into two cells. It will divide into two cells. Okay, so here the nucleus will start to be stretched. It will start to be stretched. Then here in the next step, the plasma membrane here start to be divided into two parts and the nucleus started to divide it into two parts also and here the liquid of cytoplasm also starts to be divided into two parts so and here this half of cell this half of cell started to separate and the other half here started to separate also and the half of nucleus separated into another cell and the other half separated also into a new cell so this one now is divided into two cells again this is the process of cell division this is a cell division Okay, Anas, it's okay. You can you can listen to me. I know that you just entered. Okay. Just listen and you will know everything. Don't worry. Mahmoud, I will answer your question when I finish. Just hold on, okay? So here, I started the cell division with one cell, one cell, and at the end of the process, this cell is divided into two small cells. Okay, which part in the cell started the division? Sure, it's the nucleus. The nucleus here, it is the first part that started to be stretched and get ready for the division. So, that's why we say that nucleus is responsible of the cell division because it always starts the division. It always starts the division. So here, I started the cell division with one cell and at the end of the process, I have two cells. So the cell divided into two parts because the nucleus started the division, then the cytoplasm and plasma membrane divided also so again what is the two jobs or the two functions of nucleus first it organizes all the operations or all the processes that happen in the cell and it's responsible of the cell division now let's go for the second thing which is cytoplasm cytoplasm we said that the cytoplasm is the liquid inside the cell. The liquid inside the cell. And because it's liquid, so it fills all the spaces in the cell. All the spaces in the cell are filled with the liquid of cytoplasm. So no empty spaces in the cell. Again, there are no empty spaces in the cell. All the spaces in the cell are filled with the liquid, which is called cytoplasm. And the other job for the cytoplasm, that all the processes or operations happen in it. All the processes or all the operations happen in it. Hoda, I will answer all of your questions when I finish. So the two functions of cytoplasm, number one, cytoplasm fills all the spaces or all the empty places in the cell. Number two, all the operations or all the processes happen in the cytoplasm. 
Then we have here the third thing, which is called plasma membrane. Plasma membrane. We said that plasma membrane is the outer cover of the cell. So its job surrounds the cell. It surrounds the cell. And number two, it controls, it controls all the substances that enter or leave the cell. If the cell needs any new substance to get inside it, the plasma membrane, let it enter. And if the cell doesn't need any substance inside it, the plasma membrane or the outer cover, let it leave. So it controls what enters or what leaves the cell. These are the two functions of plasma membrane 2. This is the first part of the lesson. And I think it will end the meeting now after one minute. So please enter again. When it's cut, when it's cut, enter again. Miss 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 is there the plant film or the animal film? Which one? This one.